So I've made some flowers using tissue paper, but you can use anything. You can use plastic bags. Basically, you cut a square and then cut the corners off the square. It's a very rough shape, doesn't have to be perfect. And then what you do is you gather it together and then twist it with sellotape. So I'm just going to do a little demonstration of how I've made these. Tissue paper is easy, but I've also used uh, bin liners as well. This was an old plastic bag that the handle had torn, so I've just used that to try to recycle as much as possible. And you can also use old wrapping paper, that's something else you can use as well to make flowers and decorations out of. Just small pieces that you've got left over that you can't really wrap anything with. So I'll just show you how I've done it. So I've got two or three layers. If it's tissue paper, you can have three layers. The more layers you have, the more detailed the flower is. You can just do a very simple one, just with one twist of paper like that, that looks like a big poppy. So there's my three layers there. And then I'm going to pinch it. Can you see? I'm just pinching it at the bottom, like that. Just pinching. And I've got that pinched end. I'm going to get a piece of sellotape and wrap it round it. Like that, just to make a stem, because we've got to attach them together to make our garlands. And then you basically pull out your flower petals. Just divide them up because you've got quite a few layers there. Sometimes it helps to do that. There we are. We've got lots and lots of flower petals. Can you see? And if I haven't already rounded off the corners, I'll just get a pair of scissors and then then I'll round them off. But you can just do it like this where I've got them already cut with a rounded edge. It's basically just a square of whatever you happen to have to hand. And then we're going to trim that. Let's trim those ends like that with the scissors. Again, it's not exact. It's just to stop them from being pointed so they look more like petals. it's a little bit like a poppy or maybe a chrysanthemum with the more layers you have okay. and then what we're going to do is attach them together so I've got um, some larger and smaller ones so what you can do to make your garland is you can use string and just tie it onto each piece and then hang it up so you can put it on the table you can hang it from the uh, hang it around the window or whichever area of your house you've decided to decorate. And then just tie your piece of string, or if you've got a piece of ribbon, you can use that. Tie that piece around the base, like that. Just where you've made your little stem, can you see? There, there we are tied that piece of string on and then to secure it you can always put a bit more a little bit more sellotape on to make sure it doesn't come undone. Put a bit of sellotape on the bottom. And then add your next piece, your next flower. You might want to use another large one. I've got all different size ones that I've made. tie this one on and so it goes until you have a nice big piece like that to hang up. So this one I'm probably going to put on the table 
and I've used, you could even use old, pa old, old brown paper bags if you like. And I've tied them together with a piece of ribbon, these ones. 